All right, folks, this is groundbreaking. This is legendary stuff. We haven't seen this before. Will it work? Will it be a failure? <laughs> Let's find out. First ever cut, 24 inch bar on an electric chainsaw. <laughs> It works! And we did it. 24 inches on an electric chainsaw. I think we've made some headway here, folks. So, how I got this 24 inch rancher bar on the Greenworks commercial was uh, this is a KO41 Oregon bar, but you it only comes in 20 inch. That's as big as it comes with this tailstock style. This is the KO95. This came with the rancher. It's also an Oregon bar or an Oregon bar style. Um, but uh, when I bought my rancher 460 to test against this Greenworks commercial, I want them both to have 20 inch bars. So I got a 20 inch bar for the Husqvarna. And then after the Greenworks commercial outperformed it, I thought, geez, why can't the Greenworks handle a 24 inch bar? So the main difference is I had to do to modify this to get the 24 inch bar on is this, this uh, elongated hole is the same style or it's the same size. These holes are slightly smaller, but it's okay. You can see this fits right in there and adjusts it. Um, the big difference is these holes, if you can see, but they're open so that the oiling comes in the top hole and then spreads around. So that's different in these KO95s, the oiling comes here and here, and that doesn't help out at all. So I, I plugged these holes and then I took a grinding wheel and I came, well, I tried drilling first, but that didn't work. So I took, or didn't work well. So I took a grinding wheel and I opened this up so that when the oil comes into this hole from the backside through the oiler, it spreads out on the bar and oils everything. Um, so those first two cuts we did, it wasn't really getting good oil. So I'm actually thinking I might be able to get a better time with another cut with it oiling properly so we're going to give it another try but that's how the conversion happened and that's how we have our 24 inch electric chainsaw